it's finally cold enough where I live to actually take this car out on the road to see how it performs from a range perspective in freezing temperatures. Now, my 84 does not come with the heat pump that you'll find in some vehicles like the Model Y, for example. And because of that, we're gonna be relying solely on the battery's resistive heating and energy loss to heat our cabin. Something else worth mentioning here is the fact that EV batteries charge very slowly at DC fast chargers when the batteries are cold. For example, you can see that we're currently getting around 35 to 40 kilowatts of charging power at 55% state of charge. This is not normal and roughly equates to around 130 miles per hour of charge. And it's currently estimating that's gonna take around an hour to get to 100% battery. We're gonna see how this compares when we get back after we've driven the car for a couple of hours and what kind of difference it makes when the battery is fully warmed up. Something I'd like to note really quickly is this dynamic range estimator that you see on the digital display cluster in front of the driver. At 100% battery, it's expecting I'm gonna get 242 miles of range. I do wanna note that if you do turn on the HVAC system, it will automatically adjust to what it thinks you're going to get with the system on. And currently it says 210 miles. Let's get started. We are about halfway through our test, and as you can see, it's estimating we're going to get 105 miles of range. Looking at where we are so far, we've driven 73 miles at roughly 71 miles per hour on average. It took us about an hour and two minutes, and we are getting 2.1 miles per kilowatt hour. And currently we are at 54% state of charge. So let's get back on the road and see how we do with the full test. Okay, we made it back with 3% state of charge. And the stats are 165 miles of range at roughly 70 miles an hour on average. It took us nearly two hours and a half to run out 97% of our battery. And we got 2.3 miles per kilowatt hour during this trip. The digital display cluster says we have seven miles of range left to zero. Now let's see how this compares to our previous trip when the weather was nicer. In our last highway range test when the weather was better, we returned with 4% state of charge. It took 96% of our battery to drive 220 miles at highway speeds. On average, it said 68 miles an hour. I will note though, that number keeps dropping as you stay parked. So we were going closer to 70 to 75, just like in this trip. We were able to drive for almost three and a half hours. If we look over at the display cluster at the time, it stated we had eight miles of range left. So that's roughly equivalent. Let's talk a little bit about that charging speed now. As you can see, we're plugged in at 5% state of charge and we are getting seven miles a minute, which is roughly 125-ish kilowatts of power. And that's exactly as much power as you would expect and is advertised with the ID4. So now that the battery is completely warmed up, we're getting what's advertised. I do wanna compare at 55% or so state of charge what it looks like now. As you can see, we're at 83 kilowatts of power and going back and looking at before, we were stuck at around 38 kilowatts of power. So that's quite a bit different. Just something for you guys to keep in mind if you go on a road trip during the winter, until your battery's warmed up, it's gonna be slow going with the DC fast chargers. Now let's take a quick look at our entire charge from 3% to 93%. So this is obviously 90% of our battery. Just wanted to show you that it took 49 minutes to charge at this level. We got roughly 67 kilowatts of power. So I'd love for you guys down below in the comments to let me know, with 67 kilowatt hours of power delivered, do you think there's any range degradation there? Why or why not? And just to compare, earlier I told you how much longer it took to charge to 100%. It was over an hour and nearly 15 minutes just to go from 55% state of charge to 100% state of charge. That's almost 30 minutes more than it took to go from 3% to 93%. So what did we learn today? First of all, the ID4 roughly loses 35 to 40% of its range in the winter time if you're running the heater. And if your rated range is like mine, you can expect to get somewhere between 160 and 180 miles total at highway speeds before you get down to 0% state of charge. I think for most people, this is probably going to be an acceptable amount because if you live on the East Coast, West Coast, or anywhere in a major city in the Midwest, your road trips likely include either Electrify America stations that you can charge at or other DC fast chargers where it may be slow, but you can charge up if you absolutely have to. On that same note, I'll reiterate my tips for you guys, which are 
Don't use the heater unless you absolutely feel like you need to or really are freezing if you're trying to eke out every single mile of range that you can. Instead, I'd highly recommend dressing warmer in the vehicle, using the heated seats, using the heated steering wheel, and that will probably extend your range by five to 7% at least. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I really appreciate it.